Hello there guys, this is the AR Videos. I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I made a video, but now I'm back. I've gotten a good mic and I've changed up my JGraph setup right here. And today I'm going to teach you conditional statements and loops in Java. So let's get started. Alright then, to get started, how about we set up a new file? I think that would be better so we can review. So first, a comment and you can say loops program and just name it and then remember public class and then we'll just call it loops and remember this is the name of your save file and you can't change that then uh, curly brace and then type in public static void main string these two back facing braces and then args that's just something you have to remember then the two closing curly braces and then here let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna teach you is conditional statements and basically what a conditional statement is if this condition is met then do this but that's not how they actually function so how you actually type a conditional statement is first you do if it'll go up purple and then parentheses and you have to type in some sort of condition like we can say random equals one and then if you only want one line of code you don't have to put curly braces but if you want multiple lines of codes you'll have to add another curly brace let's just gener generate CSD real fast and there we go and so then you can put in whatever you want like let's let's declare a random variable first int random equals one and so now since random is 1, this conditional statement will go through. So let's say if random equals 1, then system.out.print line, another thing you'll just have to remember, say random is 1. Okay. And so let's see how that works. So first we'll have to save this. Uh, yeah, we'll just save it like that. Okay, that shouldn't cause any problems. So we'll just compile and run. Random is one, see? All right, there are also a couple other things you can do with conditional statements. You can also add on an else statement. If the first condition, the one that the first if conditional statement is checking for is not true, then you can just put an else and it'll do something else. Since we're only doing one line of code, let's try not adding curly braces see what happens let's see dot print line we'll just do another one and we'll just say random is not one all right then let's try csd and see it still shows up so everything's gone well and it compiles okay and let's change random to two so let's see what happens and well it did it did what we wanted it to all right then there's one more thing for conditional statements let's change rand let's keep random at two actually and then we'll add another else but this time we'll add an if after so that means if the first condition was not met then it will check for this other condition but if the first condition is met it will not ever execute this line of code so remember that random equals two then we'll System dot out dot print line random is two. All right, let's try compiling that. And let's see, random is two. All right then. Sorry guys, I don't want to keep the video so long. In the next video, I'll teach you loops. Until then, subscribe, like, comment, rate. And thanks for watching.